Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. Uh, this is Civic Dude, and we have some big plans today, guys. Um, you may remember from, uh, I don't remember, maybe the last episode or uh, the one before that. Um, I told you that we, that I went around and, uh, what do I have here? And uh, could not find any kind of mainland, you know, around my island here. Um, and that, uh, so far has not been a problem, you know, nothing to worry about. Um, I'm quite sufficient, quite self-sufficient on just uh, this island with what I have with me here. The problem is that what I want to do next as far as buildings are concerned is I want to build and this is kind of out of necessity a blacksmith shop and uh, this is because you know I'm starting to wear out my my good tools and uh, you know I need to get into uh, repairing them so I can keep them around because I really like the enchantments oh sorry guys because I really like the enchantments that I have on uh, on them so far um, and uh, I want to keep them around. So, ooh, I don't like that. Um, so, you know, I got to keep them around. And the way to do that is to repair them with an anvil. Or, in my case, a blacksmith. So, I've been working in the uh, creative test world. And um, I really like, with this texture pack, a, uh, a birch wood uh, birch wood plank floor basically so we need birch wood and I have none of that <laughs> on my island here so we are going to set out set sail with this little boat that we have and we're gonna pick a direction we'll just say this direction and go until we find birch wood now you know, I made a set of iron tools just because I didn't want to take the good stuff with me. I'll keep these boots, I guess. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these off. So I'll go back and make a set of iron armor, um, and then we can get started on our way. I just have basic necessities with me. Food, torches, crafting table, stuff like that. So I'll be right back, and then we can get on our way. Okay, now we're back. Uh, right there. Now we're back. And we've got our... I just put some boots on. Not a big deal. So here we go. And like I said, we're just going to go until we find mainland. I have no idea. I'm going to mark... How far are we? We're going in... So we're at like 50 on the Z. You see it there? 50 on the Z coordinate. So let's see how long it takes us to find mainland. Hopefully not forever. Um, I want to thank you uh, specifically, Alt, in the uh, in the last episode for those suggestions on uh, on the video quality for the uh, the intro, the new intro that I had or that I have. Um, you know, I'm still very much a noob as far as video producing goes. Um, so finding a good intro is going to be a a work in progress or a working what do you call it? A work in process? Work in progress? Work in progress. That's the word. So, you know, I'll keep I'll keep doing my research, playing around, trying to find um, what works best. Um, so thank you all for those suggestions uh, in the comments. I really like that. Um, so, you know, we're, uh, what is it, March 6th when I'm recording this? We've got to be getting close to 1.5 coming out, guys. I'm really excited about that. I uh, really can't wait to see. You know, I've, I've been watching the videos, obviously, of the snapshots, and uh, I'm really excited mostly about the hoppers and the droppers, so you can do all the really cool uh, item sorting systems uh, using those those tools and uh, blocks. So it's going to be really cool. I'm excited about that. Um Man, this is the biggest ocean I've ever seen. Um, what else? What else? 
Let's look at the sunset. It's so pretty. Okay, enough of that. Um, yeah, so, you know, I want to thank you for watching these videos, guys. I really appreciate um, all the views that uh, that I do get on these. Uh, keeps me motivated to keep making these. Plus, it's, I don't know, I just really enjoy, really enjoy showing you guys kind of what's going on in this world. Uh, it helps, it helps keep me motivated to actually play. Um, wow, look at all the squid. If, uh, and even if there weren't anybody watching these videos, not that there are tons of people, but even if there weren't anybody, I'd still make them because I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm accomplishing something whenever I make these videos. It's uh, it's kind of like my version of a blog, I guess. Feels feels like a creative outlet. Um, we just did these uh, these. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Myers Briggs personality assessment but we did these at work uh today and yesterday and uh um you know for all those who who you don't know which I'm assuming is everybody I came out as an ISTJ that is introvert I, I tend to favor or prefer I guess introversion uh what was it sensing thinking and justice So, um, kind of gives you a little bit of insight into myself. And I imagine, I don't know, maybe a lot of video gamers in general are, they kind of tend to go towards introversion a little bit. Um, but not everybody, I'm sure I have, I mean, I have friends that, that are extrovert, uh, they prefer extroversion and, uh, you know, they play lots of video games too, so it's not, I'm not trying to stereotype anybody, is basically what I'm saying. But, yeah, um, this is seriously the biggest ocean I've ever seen. And I need to keep that up so I can tell that I'm going the same direction still. So, we've been uh, been doing a lot of work in the branch mine, guys. I um, have a, uh, a used up Fortune 3 pick, not a Fortune 3, a, an unbreaking pick. I think it was maybe an unbreaking three and Unfort fortune two maybe pick that I uh, went all the way through, and I've almost got the I've almost got half of the mine <laughs> mined out. You know, I I dug in the four directions, a hundred blocks each way, and then I'm basically skipping uh, every three blocks and going uh, a three block high tunnel or branch. Um. Ooh, 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 ooh! Finally, land, land ho! So we had to go roughly two thousand blocks. That is crazy. Oh, come back, come back! I need you. Come back to me. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Man, this is awesome. I can use this place for farming sand. What? Look how cool this place is. Wow. Floating islands. Stone bricks. Man, this is really cool. Now... Let's get rid of that guy. Oh, it looks like a skeleton. There we go. Kill him. Take him out. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot of sand um, on my island. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Not good. You know, there's a little bit on the beaches, but uh, it's just not, you know, vast amounts of sand. So... If I wanted to do stuff, a lot of stuff with glass or stone bricks or whatever, sand bricks, I mean, sandstone, then uh, I don't have many options for that. Until now. So, you know, this gives me ideas that we can maybe set up a an outpost out here. Um, oh, jeez. An outpost out here for farming sand. 
Because look at all this. I mean, I'm in a desert biome, so sand is plentiful. So let's go up to a high point here and see if we can't see what's going on. Still trying to find birch. Birch wood, guys. And, you know, it would not be... It would be great also if I could find some jungle wood while I'm out here. Because I need to have some, uh, like, one or two cocoa beans that I would love to plant so I can get some cookies. So, oh, ooh, bad cactus. Or a good cactus, what am I saying? So, oh, man. I didn't intend on landing on mainland at nighttime, but I think the sun will be coming up soon. So let's continue on. We were at negative 320 in the X direction. Oh, no way. Is the sand really different colors? If it's desert versus beach? That's very interesting. Please don't tell me I just landed on an, a desert island. <laughs> That would be just my luck. Oh, but man, that is that, that gives me such cool possibilities for just... I can get tons of sand out of this place. I could flatten this entire island. Well, so far, I, mean, I want to go over here a little bit and see... Um, See if this really is an island or if it kind of continues on, which it doesn't look like it, at least so far. So, um, one other thing that we're going to do in this episode, after we find our elusive birch wood, is uh, we're going to hopefully catch one or two uh, villager zombies. Oh, gear. Um villager zombies so that we can you know keep them and uh, once we get potions we can rehabilitate them into villagers to start populating our island <gasps> oh I thought that was a spider jockey I've actually seen two spider jockeys so far um, mostly whenever I was doing the carrot farming But, uh, yeah, they're they're pretty cool. I wonder... <clears throat> you know, I should take some of this cactus with me. Just so that I can get some cactus green dye. Um, you know, for some wool. I bet I could find a good use for green wool. Okay, guys. Bear with me. I'm going to let the sun come up. I'll burn off the enemies. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'll kill the, cre kill the creepers. There we go. Okay, so... It looks like this is an island, in fact. Which means we just need to continue on. So, kind of disappointing, but what are you going to do? Okay, so let's go back to our negative 320 X coordinate, and we will continue on. Oh, got me. We will continue on sailing away. Where's 320? Okay, well, this is close enough. Uh, boat. And I wonder if I can eat. Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay. Sailing away. I really did not think it was going to take this long to find land. So I'm going to basically cut the video right here, and I'll jump back in whenever I find some land. So I'll see you guys in a minute. 
And here we are, guys. Nope, come back, boat. I need you for sure. Okay, so we drove, or not drove, we sailed another, I don't know, 500, 400, 500 blocks. And I spotted with my little eye birch trees. Woohoo! So, we're going to scavenge these guys for sure. And, you know, I can start growing them at uh, at our main island, our home base. But uh, I want to scout this land out real quick and just see what, what all's here. Could be another island for all I know. <laughs> this must be a super island world. I mean, it's not... Oh, <gasps> are those sheep? Well, I'm not going to take them back. The only way I would take these sheep back would be if... I had a nether portal set up because there is no way that I'm going to sit here with wheat, take these guys back 2,700 blocks. That's just insane. So, okay, well, I will do a little bit of walking around real quick. Cut down, oop, hello. Cut down a lot of trees. Basically use up this iron axe that I crafted for myself. Take back some saplings so I can make sure and plant more of these guys. And uh, we can actually get started. I don't know if we're going to get started on building the... Oh, hello, sheep. I wish I could take you back with me. There's just not a feasible way to do that right now. Maybe I could do another portal. But, uh, yeah, it's just... Without that, there's just not really a feasible way to do it. It's just impractical. Impractical, and it would be way too frustrating. Oh man, we're in the hills. You know, you guys know how I love the hills biomes. So, I don't know how you guys are, but um, whenever they do a major update of Minecraft, I'm really leery to go exploring too far in a new world because I don't want any terrain generation to mess things up too bad. Um, so that's why I've really put off kind of exploring this far out, you know, until, until now, but, you know, need has kind of forced me to go out this far. So we're going to have to, uh, oh man, this is, this is a cool texture pack guys. Okay. So. This is cool. This is a great place to retreat to if we, uh, why do I have seeds? A great place to set up a, you know, a second base or something if we ever decide that we don't like our, our snow biome. But, uh, for now I'm kind of missing home, so I'm going to harvest these trees, probably these two trees right here, and then I'm going to head back. And I'll meet you guys back at base. Okay, guys, so it is now nighttime, and I've already... How in the world did a creeper get out there? I thought they could not spawn in water. Okay, anyways, getting distracted. So I've uh, just been harvesting some birch wood um, in our makeshift uh, tree harvesting area. Now, what we're going to do for this night and probably the next two or three nights is we're going to try and capture a zombie villager and I have yet to, to see one recently so this might take a while but this is what we're going to be doing so I will uh, uh, 
take care of this guy. There we go. And that guy. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys. I will uh, dispatch the foes. And I'll bring you back whenever I find a zombie villager. Okay, guys. We got our first one right here. Now, the trick is to throw him an item. And hopefully he'll catch it. Come on. So we're going to throw him an item. Well, let's first get him into the shelter, I guess. We can do that and then throw him the item in a minute. So, I oh, hope that creeper doesn't get in the way. Oh, shoot. Okay, we got to kill the creeper first. Dang it, I hate the creepers. Oh, come on, guy. Oh, jeez. Okay. Up. Oh. Are you a smart cookie? You are a smart cookie. Okay. No, stay. Stay back. Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, we'll get him in there. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. No. Okay. One more try. No. Gosh darn it. No. <laughs> oh, what a failure. Okay, let's try again real quick before the sun comes up. Man, and I had all my good loot, too. Hope he doesn't take my... Oh, that would suck if he picked up my sword. Okay, got some sand. That's what I need. First, let's kill the bad guy that we don't want. Okay. Now, oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't take my sword. Dang it. Okay. Failure number one. Uh, we'll try again later. Okay, guys. So, uh, in the meantime, while we are trying to get this, uh, these wonderful zombie villagers, um, I figured we could go ahead and get started on at least the outside, the framework of our uh, blacksmith. And uh, we can have Max Jr. here kind of watch us. And uh, we haven't brought him along for a while, so we'll keep him here. And we'll just get him out of the way a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I've laid out the corners. This is uh, not the corners of the foundation, but this is the corners of the roof, so front to back, the farthest out of the house, you know, the roof would be here, and sideways would be here. So, over here is our butcher shop, and here's the road that kind of is going to connect our all of our buildings together. So we're going to bring the road down here a little bit and kind of go off in like this direction. And then maybe off in this direction for something else. Not sure yet. But, uh, yeah, so I've got a little bit of land to clear away here. So I'll go ahead and get started on that, and I'll bring you guys back once I've got some work done. All right, guys. We've got the, uh, the area cleared out. Kind of had to do some terraforming over there to get the, uh, the terrain looking the right way because I basically had to cut into it right here and you can see on that second log back there how uh, how high up the terrain actually was so yeah I had to do a little bit of purification but uh, yeah so now I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up the uh, the house the house the blacksmith house 
All right, guys. So we got the, uh, the frame of the house set up. We got the roof on. Um, some of the walls on the bottom floor there. Um, you can see it's pretty big. Um, it's going to have, I think, three or four floors. Um, it's a little bit different style than uh, like my first house over there or even this second house that I built. But uh, I really, really like it. One thing I have to add is on the side here, we're going to put the, the chimney. Um, I have yet to decide if I'm going to actually put, you know, uh, fire with, uh, what am I trying to say? Fire with the, what are those called? The block that burns all the time. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what I'm thinking of. Um, because I don't want to get it too close to the wood, or otherwise it'll burn the house down, and that would be very bad, obviously. But I'm going to build a chimney and a fireplace regardless, and uh, we'll see. So, nope, there's my viewing tower. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the floor, and the walls, and the interior, and I'll, uh, I'll bring you back whenever I've got uh, more of that done. Alrighty. All right, guys. So I've got the uh, the inside of the place mostly done. Um, got a little bit left to do on the outside here to make this actually into a blacksmith. Because um, what good is a blacksmith without his anvil and his furnace and you know things like that? And I'm not talking about a furnace like this, although I will have some of those. I'm talking about a full-fledged furnace. But before we start building on that out here, let me show you the inside. So you can see we do birch wood on the floor. We've got a staircase in the middle here. Goes up to the next floor. We've got some beams running on the ceiling for support. Over here is our fireplace. Down there is going to be the nether rack. That's the block I was trying to remember. Nether rack with the fire going. Um, I stood in creative. I built basically built the mantle and the fireplace in creative and uh, switched it to survival mode on my test world and stood there for about 30 minutes um, with the fire going and no fires broke out on any of this wood at all so I'm gonna say it's okay and here's the, uh, the actual fireplace from the outside I think it looks pretty cool um, mixed in some of the regular stone and cobblestone together uh, I think it looks pretty neat. I did have to, like, the pieces underneath this wooden roof right here are all stone, or cobblestone, just to make sure that nothing burns. Um, that would be awful, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I tried regular stone bricks right here, but they're, I don't really like the color, they're a little salmon tinted red tinted uh, didn't really like it that much so I think the stone full-on complete stone looks pretty good so moving on to the second floor we have a staircase here nice hidden chest right up there a little seating area here kind of a a den over here I guess. Um, I still have yet to decorate the inside of this completely but you kinda get the idea. Windows over here. I think I have some a few glass panes to to fill in these spots. And then a couple chests right here. I tried to use the uh, the oak wood for the staircases. You can see that and then the uh, the birch wood, or sorry, the oak wood for the staircases and the walls. And then the, I might replace that. I'm not sure yet though, because some of these logs I think are. Let's just let's just find out. Yeah, some of these logs are. Oh crap. Are uh, exterior facing. So, yeah, I can't get rid of all of them. So we'll just have to incorporate maybe a painting or something over that if we want to get rid of it. 
And then moving on to the third floor, another staircase here with windows that can be touched up. Notice the low-hanging beams. I kind of like that feature. Looks pretty cool to me. This is going to be the actual, I guess, sleeping quarters, bedroom. So, um, another little depression here. Kind of cozy. <laughs> Uh, you can see these little windows here, also pretty cool. And then we've got one more staircase, actually a ladder going to like the attic area with storage and workbench and you know all that good stuff. I have nothing in these chests yet. I just put them here for for looks for now. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this house, guys. It uh, it's turned out really nicely. Um, very happy with it. Why does that look? Oh, I wonder if I should put. I think I will. Uh, I don't have any with me. Blast. Okay. Reminder oak wood goes there. Symmetry is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Now, moving on to the outside, we're going to set up a furnace and uh, a fence area. And uh, I'll do that real quick and I'll uh, catch back with you in a second. Okay guys, two things real quick. First, what do you think of the new and improved, in my opinion, intro to this video um, versus the intro to the last video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Also guys, 50 internet points to whoever can figure out what movie I'm quoting with the title of this movie or this video. The only hint that I'm going to give you is that I really hope the ender pearls that I've collected so far do not turn into black pearls. Okay, guys. Final update. So, um, got the uh, the outside part here finished to make it an actual blacksmith shop. Um, let me show you around real quick. Somewhere, side note, underneath here, you hear this spider. You can barely hear him, but there is somewhere underneath here that is not lit up apparently. So as soon as we go to the Nether, we can get some glowstone. I'm going to have to make like an x-ray machine so I can see where that is because that is going to drive me nuts. Okay, now we have our fence around our land here. We've got some iron blocks for smelting and stuff. We've got our gold blocks. It's also going to be for smelting. We've got our coal to put in the furnace. We've got our furnace right here. Um, right now it's made of iron blocks. I don't think I like it that much. Um, it just doesn't seem to. I mean, it, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to flow with the uh, the rest of the world. Essentially, it looks too cartoony to me compared to the rustic, medieval look of everything. Everything else. So maybe I'll go with uh, quartz blocks, depending on how they look in this texture pack. Uh, once the new update comes out, um, I might also go with clay blocks. Those look pretty good in this uh, in this texture pack. But uh, I want to show you guys something really cool that I just found out. And you may notice that there's a furnace right here. Well, I was I was trying to find a good place to put an actual furnace so that uh, I could actually you know smelt some things if I wanted to. And so I did this in creative mode in my test world. And if I put lava right there, which is what I wanted to do anyways. I can still access the furnace, so it, it's going to be really cool. I can just do that. That's so cool to me. So let me put some coal right there, and we have one more thing to do to make this an actual blacksmith, and that is to make an anvil. What good is a blacksmith without an anvil? 
I don't think he's any good. So, and let's see how we can place this. No, that's not how I wanted to place it. <laughs> let's place it this way. Jink. There we go. Okay, guys. So we have our we have our blacksmith set up. Now we can uh, start repairing our tools. After I learn how to do that, <laughs> we can start repairing our tools, and life will be good. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been a really good episode. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys, and uh, let me know what you think about this sh this. Uh, design here. Um, I got this um, idea from that guy Gundahar that I follow. Um, I'll have a link to his design in, in the description. His design is pretty close to mine, but I, I modified it slightly so it's not exactly the same. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.